Welcome back to the Handy Landlord. So here I am removing this tile in this bathroom. I thought it was going to be really difficult, but it actually turned out to be really easy because there was actually wood underneath of the ceramic tile. Alright, so the scraping didn't last long. I quickly gave up. I moved to my 7 inch angle grinder with a diamond wheel on it and started the process of grinding this floor down. First I had to remove that felt backing that was left over from previous floors. Keeping the angle grinder moving prevents checking and grooving the concrete. At the same time I'm removing the backing with the 7 inch angle grinder, I'm also starting the process of resurfacing the concrete. Basically I grind some, I hose it down with water, and then I shot back it up. And I keep repeating this process until I have the entire floor done and cleaned and back to original concrete. Rookie mistake, I like using the water, but then again, it just flings this stuff everywhere, this slurry mix of concrete. Probably should have taped that off. I don't know how these little white spots are gonna turn out. So I'm actually gonna take my random orbital sander and see if I can't get areas like that. A 4 inch angle grinder with a diamond wheel would have came in really handy for the tight spots. I mopped this floor about 50 times to get up all the concrete dust. on there all right I've mopped it about three times now and uh, now I'm just gonna hose it down with the hose over there and suck it up with the shot back So here is the floor after ripping the ceramic tile, grinding it, removing the toilet, doing all these things. And then yesterday I etched the concrete with muriatic acid, cleaned it multiple times. And today I'm going to try to stain it with this semi-transparent concrete stain made by Bear. And then I'm going to apply a few coats of this wet look sealer. I will roll this on, but I'm going to attempt to spray this with this little pump sprayer here. First, I'm gonna start by taping off around the edges. All right, so this is what the floor looks like. All right, I wanna get a feel for how this is gonna come out of this little pump sprayer. time like the present, right?
kind of wondering what it would do. If I almost did. Like this. Okay, one tip. Um, I don't think you want to get it too heavy on the actual plastic because it runs down and drips. So I'm just using a paper towel, basically wiping, wiping off some of the excess. Okay, I actually think that's gonna look pretty good. All right, so here is the floor. I think it looks really, really good. I was trying to decide what product to use, and I had some of the bare, and I applied it right here. I'm just not, you can kind of see the difference in the shine. I'm just not sold on it. This is what I came up with. I actually picked this up at Lowe's, and this is what I'm gonna use. I'm gonna stir that up, and then I'm also gonna try to put some anti-skid stuff in there. I'm just going to apply this with a hot dog roller with my Pelican and a two and a half inch brush. Um, unfortunately I didn't have another uh, case that wasn't uh, didn't have paint in it and I don't want to take the risk of getting paint in there so I just went ahead and put some plastic in there. Don't worry I'm a professional. Careful lines. I applied about four coats of this clear, but just really wasn't sold on it. So if you know of a epoxy type product that I could use to coat over top of this stain, please let me know down in the comments. I really like staining the concrete. I'm just not 100% sold on this top coat and I do think that this is the most durable floor that I've ever had in a rental property. When I'm doing these type of projects, I like to keep all my strokes going the same direction and then if I recoat it again, I'll go in opposite direction. So. Here's the floor all done. I really like how it turned out. The only thing I don't like is I'm looking for um, the top coat to be a higher build. I'm looking for an epoxy type coating that's kind of a higher build for over top of the stain. But overall, I like the stain. I like this concept. I think that this will work great for my rentals. Um, if you don't know, I'm a landlord, so this, uh, this work turned out good. I did get drywall dust down in it and it's extremely hard to clean, but it's all right. So that's it. I am uh, trying to get you guys some good shots, but I'm really happy with it. I just want uh, I just want the build to be a little bit higher. I mean, I could see myself doing this in kitchens, baths. Um, I mean, this whole entire house is a slab. So realistically, probably, uh, you know do all of this area so yeah anyway so uh that's it that's done so this bathroom turned out pretty good in my opinion